Okay, a little different project tonight. We have a Tesla charger here that we're gonna get installed in my buddy Matt's garage. And so we already peeled open, open the charger and the face plate comes off and leaves just this uh, kind of back plate that we're gonna mount on the wall. And so we have kind of located where we wanna be on the wall, somewhere in this region. And uh, we, we have a pretty good guess on a stud right there. And so we're going to go right through the like kind of the sill plate area right there into basically the floor of the of the main floor of the house and so um, we'll take a peek in the basement but we, we basically have our location here and we're gonna we're gonna drill through to uh, get our line power out to our uh, charge box okay so we're in the basement here we have the panel cover off and we'll make some spaces with some tandem breakers. But we're gonna come across here in the ceiling and go over, and then we're gonna poke through about right there above that cooler right where my finger shadow is there. And um, we found where we are in this world here by, uh, there's a water spigot right there in the garage, a little water uh, um, fixture. So we'll grab off at that height, that'll be our height, and then outside we're gonna come near a stud. There's a stud that runs vertically on this wall in the garage wall. And so that's basically where we're gonna poke in. So we're gonna go out to the garage, poke in with a quarter inch pilot bit, bit and uh, just make sure we're exactly where we wanna be. Okay, well we uh, poked through, you can see the pilot bit has uh, come through the sill plate there. So we're going to uh, take off from there across this joist and get over to here and then drill a few and then find our panel. So we're going to start getting things set up. Alright, we got our hole drilled here <laughs> and we're uh, through to the other side so uh, we'll go inside and start running some uh, cable. Right, now that we got our holes uh, drilled across here, we're gonna feed the Romex through and uh, get us an adequate amount to reach basically anywhere in the panel. It was a safe way to do it, kind of when you're first running this. And then we're gonna string it back from this corner, across here, staple it, and pop through our hole. All right, so we fed the Romex through the uh, joist down below, ran it across, Pooped it out the hole, and we got a great plenty to get where we need out here. So we'll cut the little piece of scrap off on this side. Next, uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, terminate on the inside, and then um, get the breakers fit, and then later we'll come out and actually get the box mounted on the wall. All right, so what we have going on here is a heater was added to the garage uh, previously, and they kind of like slap stapled the side. So we are going to kind of continue that, but in a better way. Uh, we're gonna put up just a little piece of nailer right there, and then we can actually staple our uh, new uh, our new Romex and his heater in a more, more legit way. Okay, so we have a 200 amp panel here, and uh, uh, it's full already. Um, you got actually a couple tandems down here. And so we have tandem 20s uh, right now. So what we're gonna do is go kind of plan out which 20s we wanna tandem. So here would be one and two, and then three and then four. So those those breakers right here, these two, and these two are the ones that we'll, we'll throw on tandems. And that'll free up two spa spaces. And then we can uh, install our new charger breaker. the breakers out right now we freed up the spaces now we're gonna put tandems right here so all four of these wires are gonna end up in these two spots which will free up free us up two new ones 
and that'll be where our two pole, what is it, the 60 is going in there. So here's our tandem 20. And another. And then here's our uh, tandem, it's, a, or it's not a tandem, it's a two pole 60. Alright, so we got these uh, we got these tandems hooked up again. So now we'll go ahead and turn those circuits back on. These are for random things throughout the house. We'll have to check on the directory and see what they were actually. So obviously as the panel gets filled throughout the years, uh, so do all the knockouts. There's uh, little to no room up top here. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come in the side right here next to this is this heater. That was the one we were jacking with earlier. We're going to come in here with a three quarter inch Romex connector. Bring our two uh, 120 lines down and get into our breaker here. And then the ground is going to come up over the top and we're going to find a, a spot to pinch in there. So uh, obviously it's full, but uh, that's just kind of the nature of a house this age. All right, so I'm just going to push some of these wires back here. We have to kind of get some clearance on the inside so we can actually push this knockout through. But this is the one we're going to use, so I want the three-quarter one, which is the second size there, so that's why I'm coming from the outside in. Three-quarter inch Romex connector here, and so that's going to fit in with the lock nut, lock nut on the inside. So we got our staples in here. Everything's looking a little more decent. We're gonna kind of get a, a length for our strip here. And I'm just gonna take my knife, kind of get through the outer layer. And just when I can feel that tip start to dive, then I'm gonna start picking it Uh, got our wires kind of tucked down on the back here and I'm gonna push them push them back when we're done here I'm gonna push them back in the panel but basically I'm gonna get a black and a white and I'm gonna cut them so that they're long enough and get them terminated on this break Now the ground we're going to take and we're going to sneak up here with all the rest of this mess and try and find a spot here that hasn't been used. Good luck. All right, well, magically, a uh, open ground space has appeared for us here, so we will uh, go ahead and utilize that and uh, terminate the ground. Alright, so this is all terminated. Uh, before you close the panel, you want to make sure that your screws, there's no wires that are like right behind, um, behind there, because uh, you just ask me how I know that. So you just want to make sure you're clear, because then that screws are going to eat into one of those um, wires. So we can go ahead and put the panel cover back on. Alright, with the Romex run and all of our staples put up, going across, we are uh, cruising right out that hole and the rest of this uh, will take place out in the garage. Okay, so we have uh, just a few items for the outside of the garage here. We have a three quarter inch LB. Um, so that's basically so we can come, how this will sit, is it'll sit like, like this on the wall. And that Romex is gonna come out and we'll actually feed it out the cover and then we'll get it on the outside and we'll push it up to the box that'll be up at this height. And obviously we're we're thinking about Chase with our height here. We don't want it right at the ground where he can easily access it. So anyway, uh, what I have is I have a uh, 
chase nipple right here. And that's just basically to keep it, the wire from chafing on these threads right here. And then I have a three quarter inch compression uh, connector. I took the lock nut off and it threads down into the LB. And then this fitting is a compression style so it actually bites onto the, onto the pipe. It's got a couple little offsets in it just really slight to keep it on the wall when we're coming up. And then also another compression connector at the top which will be the entry to our uh, little back plate here. And that plate It'll go up into the bottom like that, and then we'll terminate inside. So we're gonna get this uh, pipe uh, kind of settled and sorted here, and then uh, try and get it up on the wall with that plate. Huh. Okay, so we had a little amateur hour moment when we were doing this. We were talking, we are like, oh, we'll, we'll miss this stud just a little bit, and we'll come up and get on it a little, a little bit. Well, first of all, if we come up level, we actually miss the stud. So that's the first thing. And then the funny other thing is, trying to miss this stud, this stud only kind of goes to like right here. So we, we could have drilled right in the bottom, but it's just one of those deals. So instead, we're just gonna get the old bender out and put a little kick on this so that it just comes up and gets right in on our stud. So now the uh, the top box and our pipe and our one hole strap, everything's all mounted right. So now we'll just take our wire and shove it up the LB and pull it out the top. Okay, so now we got our <laughs> our uh, Romex pushed through there. That's kind of almost like a two man deal. But we got a little, a little twist in it, but we're good. And now we'll strip and uh, terminate these wires. In this deal, let's make sure we got this right. Can be bottom entry or top entry but these are both labeled as line so line one line two and ground those are the symbols we're looking at so we don't have to do any goofy wrap around the top a lot of times your line comes in the top but we'll just we'll just come up from the bottom and get in there so in this sense so I'm still gonna have a great plenty okay, turn them back now So we have everything terminated here. So now it's just basically stab on the, the front. It's got spades here that click into the base. So underneath here, you can see there's uh, bolt holes right here for little, uh, little screws that go in and, and uh, keep everything uh, clicked on there. All right, so we got the cord all on there and everything looks great and we actually wound it up just a couple loops and then you plug the plug it back into itself to, to hold it there so uh, and then got our LB covered up so just the last thing here is to turn it on and see what happens Let's see if we let the smoke out So we got this Tesla charger put up. Everything seems to be working fine. We're just waiting on the car. And you'll have to wait to see what the car is. So uh, anyway, uh, Matt's excited to get his new ride. <laughs>